Hello, my name's Alan Pearson. Uh, I'm a sign manufacturer from Teesside and I have uh, two products here that I'm going to pitch to you. Uh, I have the first, which is street nameplates, and the second is a new product called Strimbase. Uh, the street nameplates, um, it's a recycled plastic product and recyclable plastic product. Uh, it, um, it, it's... Uh, uh, we've been selling around £100,000 worth of them a year. Um, I, I, and the other product I have is something that I've developed off the back of this product. Uh, one of my councils I was selling to was putting a concrete base around the bottom of the uh, street nameplate. Uh, it's cheaper to do that in the long term than actually strim round them. So I came up with a, a product that could be mowed over, will stop the, pr the grass growing around the posts, and uh, Is that it? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I'm looking for a, a, a hundred thousand uh, pounds. I'm looking for a ten percent uh, to give a ten percent equity in the company for a hundred thousand um, pounds. Thank you very much. An understated pitch from nervy tea cider Alan Pearson. He's looking for a cash investment in his new business, specialising in street signs and a maintenance-friendly accessory. Deborah Meaden is in need of some clarity. Um, what I'd like to understand is what your business looks like at the moment, because I think you said that you sold £100,000 worth of this product, mm -hmm. but that kind of implies there's another business that's sitting behind all yeah, of this. Yeah, this would form a new business. The, the, I have an existing business, Ensign, which is uh, sign manufacturing. The, uh, Sorry, the, so the business that you've currently got, I mean, is it, is it profitable? Yes. How the much turnover profit? the turnover this year was around about eight hundred thousand pounds, and it was prof it, you know we, we made a good profit. A good profit. Mm. What's a good profit? W well, yeah. Uh, uh, w w that, that, well, uh, I'd rather not. That's uh, we're looking at uh, this year. We made about sixty thousand. So eight hundred thousand pound net profit, sixty thousand pound. Mm. Park that business to one side, and this product here that you sold £100,000 of, how much profit did that make? We'd be looking at about 60000 gross. Right, so presumably you've got accounts? Yes. So what do those accounts you say... You well, this is part of the Ensign business at the moment. This has been... Um, this is part of Ensign. So you've got a product, a new product, sitting inside your existing sign business. Now I'm really interested to understand why you've decided to take these out of your existing business. Because... Uh, I think that these products would have been interesting. The, the sign business, standing on its own, doesn't need the investment Just in... Just so you know, investing in a business that has a proven track record and is, and is making a profit is always of interest to a dragon. An awkward first exchange from the tongue-tied entrepreneur. Will he fare any better under questioning from Peter Jones? I think it's quite appropriate that you brought in a sign Dragon's caught on it. <laughs> yeah. Because if I was a judge, I'd be sentencing you to making probably the worst presentation that I've ever seen in the den. Is there a reason why your pitch was so slapdash, amazingly average? There seems I had to be a it all lot more in there. My head when I came up the stairs, Peter, and it uh, all fell apart as soon as I got to the top of the stairs. Really. Can we start again? And and I just want to see whether you're at all interested in engaging in a conversation that actually says I'm willing to change my pitch and you can invest in the overall business and have a slice of the overall business rather than the separation of products? Yes, I would. OK. So let's talk about the future. If things go according to plan based around the current business you've got, mm -hmm. what is your current forecast for the next 12 months? Well, I would expect to turn over 1.1, 1.2 million, 1.1 million pounds. What do you think your gross profit will be? I'd be looking at 100 to 120 gross. Gross? Yeah. Oh, sorry, net. Net, sorry. Yeah, what's your gross? Gross. Um, um, 
round. If you, if you take the average of the last three years in percentage terms, what have you made gross profit in percentage margin? We make around about 100 per cent. We can't. Yeah, yeah, with overheads and costs. Gross markup. Um, uh, mm -hmm, sorry. Margin or markup? Ma the so your gross margin is around 50 per cent? Dub double what we. What we Okay, well, that's 50% yeah, gross margin. Yeah, yeah. The proposition may have changed, but Alan's nerves have yet to settle. Can Theopophytis make sense of the Teesiders' business? So, 100,000 of the 800,000 comes from that sign. Where does the other 700,000 come from? Potentials. No, no, you said your turnover last year was 800,000. Yeah, on the, the, the sign, sign manufacturing yeah. as a whole. So 700,000 yeah, oh, well, well, selling to people just, like you. Well, uh, 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 at the moment, what you said to us is you're happy to throw the whole business in. Yes. So now I'm saying I understand where 100,000 pounds of the turnover of your business comes from. Yes. The other 700,000, talk me through it. We, uh, we, we're general sign manufacturers and the... Shop signs? Shop signs, van signs. Do you have any big repeat customer base? Or? Yeah, yeah, we have a number of big, big customers, blue chip co companies. And you made 60,000 profit. Have you always made a profit? Yes. And after your wage, what's your wages? I take as I need. I don't have a specific amount that I take. Every OK, month. just an example. You made 60,000 profit after how much drawings? Um. I would probably say about 40. Alan, in your company accounts, every year, at the end of the year, you have to state what seller you've taken. OK, so you must know where it is. You can't just say, well, I just take this. You know. So what did you take in your last year as a director? £4,600. £4,600 mm -hmm. in the full year? Mm -hmm. So I thought you said to Theo you took 40000 Yeah, I have a director's loan account that I draw down off. Okay, You've I'm got really to clear confused. that. That's a little bit misleading, because Theo specifically asked you what, what, your draw, what you were taking from the business. Yeah, what I was taking from the business was £40,000 a year. How, how did well, you, you just answered Duncan £4,000. No, yeah. a wage £4,000. I've just said oh, I'd take that's a little from. disingenuous. Now, that would tell us, the information we glean from that is you're able to draw £40,000 and it still makes £60,000 mm -hmm. profit. Yeah, okay. Now, that is a world of difference from a business that actually can only afford £4,000 worth of wages and make £60,000 profit. Because hmm. you turn from a business that might have potential to a business that's just about paying your wage. Alan, your job was to take me down a path that led me to a conclusion that made me want to invest Best, in your business. Yeah. And you haven't done it. I, I appreciate that entirely. So I'm out. Confusion reigns in the den, and a dazed looking Alan loses his first dragon. Theo Pafitis is not looking impressed either. Alan, in some ways, I can forgive you by not knowing all the figures, like the back of your hand. But I don't think there was any doubt in your mind the difference between salary and drawings. I wasn't asked that, though, Theo. I was asked what I took out of the business, which is the difference. Yeah, misleading. 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 You were misleading in your answers. And actually, a bright little product. Potential. But I'm sorry to say you have not covered yourself with too much credibility here today. I appreciate that. So I cannot invest in you. And for that reason, I'm going to say I'm out. OK. And I, I didn't mean to be misleading. You know, that's something that I had no intention of. Alan, if you can't come on here and prepare yourself for the interrogation that you know you would get. If you're looking at anybody to invest, they would be asking for this information. So why wasn't you prepared? Uh, uh, and secondly, how do you hope to grow your business if you can't even motivate yourself to do what should have been the biggest pitch of your life? How on earth do you expect anybody to invest in you, your product, or this company, you would make my footage. 
I'm sorry, Alan. It just, just doesn't go. I'm out. Two more dragons out, and Alan's chances of investment are looking slim. Will Duncan Bannatyne throw him the financial lifeline he badly needs? I think you would be such hard work, Alan. I just can't understand you and understand how you work. And so for that reason and that reason only, I've got to say I'm out. Alan, have you got a business that could be invested in the bottom line? And I think there lies the biggest issue is that it is still a quagmire. And I think the only major mistake that you've made, and you're going to regret this, is not knowing your core business as well as perhaps you should. I can't invest in you. I'm out. A devastating end for Alan. It was a shaky start and his pitch never gained momentum. He leaves with nothing. I walked up the stairs and immediately I was up there all you know, what I had in my head to talk about went. We barely touched the products that I brought to show them and hoped that they'd invest in them and uh, came away feeling a complete idiot. Thank you.